So we're going to do a practice called Trilogy Plus Healing Codes today. <clears throat> and this is an energy healing practice modality. But I don't want for that to feel too woo-woo for you. So you can know that we're working with the same systems that acupuncturists work with. So we're going to be working with acupressure points all around the body. And then with other various energetic systems as well. But just know that this is slowing down your heart rate. This is calming your nervous system. So we've done this process and tested people's heart rate variability. And what happens is that it does relax the body and the mind a good deal. So it's very healing on lots of different levels. So basically the first couple of times that you do this, you'll need to probably watch what I'm doing and do it along with me. And I'll tell you, I'll walk you through all this. But what I'd like you to do before you start this process is to, and you can stop the video once I've explained this, to do this, is to write down the main thing that you would like to address. So this can be a physical symptom, even though we're not addressing any physical symptoms, we're addressing underlying emotional aspects of that symptom. But you can write down that symptom if you'd like to, and then rate it on a scale of zero to 10. 10 is the most intense, and zero is the least intense, like it's not bothering you at all, which in which case you probably wouldn't write it down. So then you're going to key into, and, and again, you can use it for anything. This can be for finances, it can be for a relationship issue, it can be for whatever anything, anything. It can be for something that you want. So a success subject. So a goal that you have maybe. In which case you would rate it zero to 10. 10 being uh, you feel like it's already there. You know, you, you feel 100% sure that it's going to happen. And zero being you totally don't believe it's going to happen. So I, I can go more into that. I, I go more into that in our trilogy subscription program but for now we're going to work with these so for instance the symptom we're saying so when you think of that symptom or that issue whatever it is that you're working on what emotions are you feeling i want you to actually write these things down so for instance with this particular symptom maybe you feel frustrated maybe it makes you feel sad maybe it makes you feel angry okay we'll go with those three but there is a wide range of things that it could make you, be making you feel helpless hopeless whatever <clears throat> and i'd like for you to rate each of those so you may only have one emotion that comes to you or you may have five or six but go ahead and take the time to write down all those things that we just went through and then come back here. <clears throat> so what you're going to do now, you wanna make sure that you're in a comfortable position. You can either do this lying down or sitting up. As I said, the first couple of times that you do it, you're gonna to wanna to do it along with me watching me what I'm doing so that you can do it as well. So you're probably gonna be sitting up. It's fine to do it lying down once you get it and you can just listen to the audio. And we're gonna go ahead and set an intention. So make sure that you're in a spot where you're not gonna be disturbed. You can do this for <clears throat> five minutes or so. So go ahead and close your eyes. Just take a few moments here to settle. So we're basically setting this intention for ourselves. Well, that's it, actually. We're setting this intention for ourselves. So if it is a symptom, your intention may be something like, 
I intend to release these underlying emotions or these underlying feelings or energies or however you want to put it that's contributing to this symptom with the understanding that emotions are not bad things. We're not trying to get them to go away. We're going to be with them and to move energy around this, whatever it may be. And then if you do believe in a higher power of some sort, you might want to just connect with that. Ask for some assistance or guidance or whatever works for you. And then we're going to start with some tapping on acupressure points. So you can open your eyes and we're going to start with tapping on the inner part of the eyebrow. So you can do this with either hand with this particular portion. You just very lightly tap. And then you're going to do the chin. Then you're going to do under the arm. So this is going to be right where your bra strap is for women or would be for whomever you are. And then you're going to do right underneath the breast. Then you're going to do the collarbone. So if you find that knobby part of your collarbone right here, you're going to tap just beneath that. And then on the outer edge of your hand. And then you're going to tap the outside of that first finger. Side of the second finger. So middle finger. You're going to go back to the outside of the hand. And then you're going to do what's called the nine gamut. So this is tapping in between the pinky uh, knuckle and the ring finger knuckle. So you're going to tap in between those two the whole time that you do this. And then you're going to have your eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open, look hard down right, back to center, look hard down left, back to center, take your eyes in a circle in one way, eyes in a circle in the other way, back to center, hum, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then hum again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you can release your hands, close your eyes, take some nice deep breaths. Great, and the second part is the healing codes. So you're gonna be doing one of two different ways of doing the healing codes. So to begin with, we're gonna do right hand Adam's apple, and it is important to get the hands uh, correct here. So right hand Adam's apple, and you're shining your fingertips at your, this area of your throat. If you had an Adam's apple, if you're a woman, or if you do, if you're a, a male, or all of that. So, yep, so you're shining towards that area. And then your left hand, you're gonna shine your fingertips into the center right in between your eyebrows. If this gets tiring for you, you can prop pillows underneath your arms. And then you're gonna take both of your hands to your temples. And then this next position is what's called a healing codes two position. So those were all healing codes ones, but you're going to take your right hand right to the back of your head, right where it meets, where your skull meets the top of your neck. So the top of the spine, and then you're going to take your left hand flat so that your thumb is just underneath your belly button and the rest of your fingers are falling right underneath and palm is against your belly as well.
Now you're gonna take both of your hands flat over your forehead. So this, these are Healing Codes 2 positions as well. And you can release your hands, take some nice deep breaths here. Great. And this third part is addressing your energy systems. So you can call these chakras, if you're familiar with that system. And then the other thing is it addresses something called the governing and conception vessel, which is the way that the energy moves in your body. So to begin with, you're going to take one hand on top of the other. You're going to start at the base of your torso and bring those hands touching your body up the center line of your body. Slowly, steadily over the top of your head, all the way to the back of your head, top of the spine, right where that position was before. So right where the top of your neck meets the base of your skull. I'm just gonna very gently cradle this area. And you can release that. Bring your right hand to your heart center left hand is going to come to your solar plexus area so this is where your diaphragm is right kind of in between your ribs so above your belly button and then you're going to keep that left hand where it is and take your right hand and put it below your belly button To do another sweep so one hand on top of the other starting at the base of the torso coming all the way up the center line up 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 and you're going to stop at the top of your head this time <clears throat> making sure that you're not pushing down on your head just very lightly cradling the top of your head And then you can continue on to the top of the spine. And release your hands. Take some nice deep breaths here. So that's one full process. And after you do a process, I always recommend for you to take five to 15 minutes to just sit and meditate or rest or sleep. I'll leave you to it.